couple of things. Since you haven't used it yet, you can keep that right on there. That's, okay. if you get the best dangerous you can be, the better, right? right? There's no need to take that off until they're using it. Mm -hmm. So leave that there. Um, this is already labeled, but look, it's labeled wrong. So what do you have to do? Uh, change the label. And it wouldn't be labeled, obviously, first. Yeah. It no, it wouldn't it be. Would, right, so you know the label, right? Yeah, quarter. You know you need that. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that, or you can fold it up and put it right in here. Okay. Um, whatever. So I know we're not going to count, but let's make that pretty though, at least. Let's make that how it should be there. Just this? Make. Yep. And you would have made that towel all right when it got in there? Yeah. We've already counted everything. Our top goods are all well counted. What else are we? Can we do right now? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Very good. Some people will just put a blue towel, um, you know, whatever, a towel over here, and that'll be their sharp destination, you know, be a little different and stuff. But you, you'll see different ways of doing it. Um, but this is uh, good. The only thing that I would probably have is I have those over there kind of out of the way. Um, when you have smaller retractors, we usually keep them over here. Totally. Because um, these yeah. little ones. Get lost so these, yeah, and remember these are sharp and dull. The two we have here are dull, but they have very sharp ones as well. I like to have my sharp ones here, so I'm not, it's an instant cut in your glove when you, when you snag on those. Mm -hmm. So I'll put those there, and then I'll put the dull ones next to them. That way I also know when I ask them, do you want sharp or, or dull, when they ask for a send retractor, um, I know automatically those are sharp, those are dull. I don't want to take them up and look at them and, and uh, do it. So the dull ones I'll have here, and the sharp ones I'll put here. Kind of a quick little thing there. Okay. Um, and then the self retaining retractor comes separately from the regular regular retractors, right? So that one we usually. <laughs> oh. Right. Anyway. Um, we usually will keep separate. And like if we had the Albany med table, it would be right back here, but we don't. So we'll just have it here or something. Okay. Like that. Um, any questions? No. You know automatically which plate to put on there, right? You do or just... <clears throat> so that's going to obviously depend on the surgery, right? So what blade is that? Small blade. What number blade? Ten. No. No? How about five? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. That's a fifteen blade. Oh yeah, it's fifteen. 
Yep, and then what's the other one that's in there? We have tens. Right. So a lot of times I'll actually, you'll have more knife handles. Um, I'll actually build one fifteen and one ten. Ten are used most generally for the larger skin incisions. Fifteens are used for smaller incisions. And also inside, down deep, they'll use a fifteen. The eleven blade is the really late really pointy one, and that's for vascular. Kind of cutting about, we don't have one of those on the table right now. We have seen it. What's this one? Then? Oh, that is a, I didn't even have one. All right, look at that. That's the 11. It's a very pointy one. And that's, that usually goes on the long handle. So that we go on this one, and that's for vascular cases, which this isn't, so. Okay. And then, then I think we would have water in our big bowl, which we're not going to do. And then we'll come over here with the drapes. And. Yeah, I feel like my placement, like the order that I Yeah, do, so sometimes there's different ways with the Alumam, which we're going to do in a minute. Um, some of them like to put it on right after the sticky blue, some like to put them on at the very end. So I usually would just have it on the side, and that way when they ask for it, I have it available. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're going to do the main drape, just here. <laughs> this bitch is extra. Um, so they can either use this for a down sheet, like we talked about last week, right? This is a, this is a basic case, so they're probably not going to use this. But if you didn't know, and I, I could be either on my back table or on the bottom, and it's there and available. The most times it's going to be the sticky blues and the dirty, and then the eye band is here for whenever they want to use it, and they'll ask you for it. This is only used in certain cases, not all cases, so you won't always see an eye band. Um, but that was really good. We got that set up really quickly, so. Um, yeah, everything looks good. The only thing, if you're sitting around not doing anything, you can open these up and pull them out. Nice, right? Yep, take those. And take this stick off. Yep. And that's why, you know, looking good. I have a question. Do you have yeah. your sponge bits ready? Oh, yeah, we just oh, have, we didn't have our instruments out at that oh, time, so. Yeah. I don't know if this one even has any. Yeah, I don't have any. Um, so, yes. Ready, ready. So, the other thing as well if is, one, you could, yeah, you could definitely use that. And what else do we actually need on this table for the most part? What else is the resident or what was doing the scrub? What are they going to need when they come up here? Oh, they need sterile gloves, right? <clears throat> they don't necessarily need them for the floor prep. Some people do use them, some don't. The baby going, they should be wearing sterile gloves. So, yeah. and they usually look open like a size nine, eight or nine, so they don't lose any doing the scrub. And have a larger glove, and then whoever does it doesn't have a stupid fish, it's a quick scrub. Yeah, you know? okay. Yeah. So, okay. <clears throat> um, looking pretty good. Nice job. That ends for that one.